was brought up as Jaquan Glover appeared before a judge for the first time. Both he and Willie Eckford are just 18 years old and they both face charges of first degree murder and carjacking. Police say Glover and Eckford knew the victim, 25 year old Joseph Hepburn. His friends posting these images on Facebook after learning he was gunned down Thursday morning. According to the arrest affidavit, Hepburn picked up the two suspects from a hotel. That's when a witness says they got into an argument with the victim, accusing him of stealing from their room. That argument ending near the intersection of Tampa Avenue and Bentley Street, where the witness says Glover hit the victim before Eckford opened fire, taking his life. Mommy. 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 Oh my mom, she's downstairs. Where's the person? Give me the water, please. It's just like Mount Sinai, you're right. Oh, shh. Okay, bro. We're gonna get those off you. You really think those cuffs off you? Send them. We'll get those off you, honey. Oh. What do you need, honey? Where's my mom? We just talked to her. She told us to come talk to you. Okay? We just talked to her. She's at the house. Huh? We just talked to her. Let me see. Turn around. Turn around. We're Did gonna get those off you. 
Just relax, man. Just breathe and relax. You'll be all right. Okay. You want a blanket or something? Or are you cold? Or are you good? Say that again? A blanket. You like it? Yes. Watch the civil war and if you need to wear it or not. She comes back. You mind? Let's do this, okay? Let me get through the first part with you, all right? I do want to hear what you have to say, and I, there's no reason for me not to believe you at this point in time, okay? Willie? Can I call you Willie? Is that okay? All right. Listen to me. There's no reason for me not to believe you right now, okay? All right? But we need to hear from you what happened, okay? All right? Detective Brian Ferrer, the Orlando Police Department. Today's date is uh, Thursday, June 7, 2018. The time is now approximately 0400 hours. This is an interview taking place at CID, um, I'm sorry, Orlando Police Headquarters, Criminal Investigation Division, room 6. Uh, also present is a Willie Eckford. Am I saying that right? Okay. Um, if you can, just for the record, okay, because we're, we're going to tape it, okay? So head nods don't work, okay? So is that a yes or a no? Am I saying Eckford, right? Yeah? Okay. Can you just say your name for me? Give me your date of birth, please. February 23rd, 2000. And just state your name for me, okay? Willie Eckford. Thank you. All right. Also present is Detective Teresa Sprigg. Um, Willie, can you do me a favor? Can you raise your right hand for me, please? Do you solemnly swear or affirm that the testimony shall give in this case should be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Is that yes or no? I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, how old are you, Willie? Eighteen. Eighteen. Okay. Willie, I need to go over these with you, okay? Um, I'm going to go over one by one. Um, you just have to understand them, okay? If you have any questions about any of them, make sure you ask me, okay? And then we'll go from there. Okay? Is that a yes? I'm sorry, I can't hear you, pal. You're nodding your head, yes? Yes. Yeah. Okay. You have the right to remain silent. Do you understand? Hey, pal, listen, I, I hate to do this to you, but I, I need a yes or no. I can't do head nods. Because I, I might misunderstand a head nod. Is that a yes or no? Yes. Okay. 
Anything you say may be used against you in court. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. You have the right to talk to a lawyer before and during questioning. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. If you cannot afford a lawyer and want one, it won't be provided for you before questioning without charge. Do you understand? Yes. Has anyone threatened you or promised you anything to get you to talk to me? No. Okay. All right, William. Like I said, there's a, there's always two sides to every story, okay? And we we're starting with you. I want to get you. I want to find out what happened from you tonight, okay? So I'm gonna basically start it with you just telling me what happened tonight, okay? How do we get here? Here? Yeah. How did we get here? What happened tonight? This is the hard part. I can't say every day right now. I, I, I can't say every day right now. But Joe was tussling with my friend, Papa. He was tussling with Papa. His friend tried to grab me. But I got away from his friend. His friend is white with a... a a flat top. I only saw him twice in my whole life. Okay. His people gotta know this, man. I don't, but I know Joe. The whole reason us, the whole reason for the situation being like that is because he told us. He said it right out loud. Y'all gonna make me get out and do something to y'all that y'all don't want me to do. Okay. And he turned the car around. He didn't take us back. Didn't take you back where? To the hotel. The hotel. He didn't take us back. Okay. He took us. It was in the cut. I don't know exactly where it was. I'm not from Orlando, but it was in the cut. Okay. His friend tried to grab me, but I had got loose. Okay. Joe, he came. He hit. He tackled me. A dead son. I got on the ground. Okay. The gun that I his gun that I got hit at his car. Uh huh. With his keys, Papa stopped him from hitting me. Okay. And at that point, I just. Papa wasn't strong enough to hold him off, and he was still trying to cut me. I'm, I swear to God, I ain't mean to shoot him. I promise you, I did it. I promise you, I did it, man. Okay. I promise you. iPhone, iPhone, they got recorders. You could play re the audio back. His friend, his friend, he, he's light skinned with a flat top. Okay. He heard everything, but I know he gonna lie because he. You ask Joseph Hepburn, ask his close friends, and they will tell you about him. They will tell you about this man. Okay. They will tell you about him. Okay. And I didn't want to do it. I knew him for years, but it was just out of. He, he told us, he said, Y'all gonna make me start this car and do something. So in my mind, I don't. How many times did you shoot? Once. Once. Okay. Did anybody else shoot the gun? I shot around. him once, and I had got in the car. Okay. And I drove to the the back, the late man apartments. Uh -huh. And I drove that car in the late. Why'd you do that? Out of just. Out of just. Uh, 
Cause honestly, I ain't wanna go to jail. I don't wanna do this. I know I see it all the fucking time. I got people who work at the court. I know what it is, man. Let's go back, okay? Do me a favor. Let's go back. So you called him Joe? His name is Lamar. Lamar? How long have you known him? Since I... He was one of the first persons I knew to, when I came up here to show me around and stuff like that. Where'd you come up here from? Miami. Miami? Okay. So so how long ago was that? I really... I honestly... It like was a year years ago? Back, two years, years ago? So years you've, known, you've known Lamar for I a long time? I know Lamar. I know Lamar. That's Lamar. That's Lamar. Okay. Just like the record reflect, I just showed uh, Mr. Eckford a photograph of uh, David photograph of Joseph Lamar Hepburn. Okay. After I swear I didn't mean to okay. do it. I okay. swear I did. Okay. I'm not big enough to tussle with. Well, I just want to walk through it, okay? And 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 you gotta you gotta understand, Willie. We're, we're at A and we want to get to Z, okay? So the questions I'm asking you are going to be important to help us fill in the blanks, all right? I'm sure you want to help us fill in the blanks. So, so you've known you knew Lamar for about two years. Okay. When did you first see him? So today it's now Thursday morning. Okay, it's early Thursday morning. Um, yesterday was Wednesday. Okay. When did you meet up with with Lamar? Yesterday. What time is it about? Around the afternoon. Around like it was in the afternoon. I really can't put the time on. The sun wasn't down. Okay. And was that where was that at? He came to my house. Came to your house? Yes. Okay. And it was just to check out something about a puppy, cause that's what we deal with. We dealing with puppy. Okay. He came and said he had a customer for a puppy. Okay. He took a couple pictures and blah blah, and we just headed out. We what did he take the, the pictures mall. with? He took a picture of the puppy. Did he use his phone? Yes. Okay. So we went went to the mall, and then. Which that malls did you go to? I don't really know all the malls up here. I know we went to one that was Who went to the mall? Let me ask you that question. You and Lamar and who else? And Papa. Papa. Anybody else? No. No. What's Papa's name? How long have you known him for? Before I knew the month. Okay. You're not in your head, yes? That's 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 my friend. Okay, Papa. That's what you call him, Papa. Okay. You're not in your head, yes? Okay. Just let the record reflect. I showed uh, Mr. Eckford a photograph of Jaquan Glover. It's a daily photograph. Okay. So you've known him for a long time too. So. So you guys went to the mall. Uh, where'd you go after the mall? He dropped us back off home. At home? Okay. Yeah. To wh where's home? The late man. Okay. And, and and that's where you stay with? Who do you stay there with? My mom, but I don't really stay with her. Okay. I just... Well, you just turned 18, right? Yeah. So you kind of feel what it's like, feel, feel no, li like it to live on your like, own? No, nah, it's like, no, nah, I just stay with my dad. Like. Oh, your dad stays somewhere else? He stays down there, okay. and I just came up here because before I left Miami, I had a whole bunch of dogs or whatever. Yeah. And my mama, she took care of them. There was one left with puppy, so that's okay. the reason of me coming back and forth to that house. Okay. All right. So you went back to the house. You you and Papa went back to the house. The whole point was we was finna go out later that night okay. to the club. Okay. Which club? You don't even I know, don't know which one? it is downtown. Okay. I'm not going to lie to you. He said, we're going downtown. Okay. And I just found my ID. Okay. So, before he even come get us, we, we, no, I think he text Papa and he text, he text him, he said, where, he, where we was at. Who's he? Lamar. Oh, okay. But I already told him before we left that, my mama was finna drop us off. Okay. So I'm in my head like, why is he finna come? Like, right. oh, so I was like, all right, forget it. He had told, Papa told him, never mind. 
my mama told me she, cause she was already in the process. She was in the car for about, I say, five or ten minutes, cause mm -hmm. I was running in and out, saying I, I had to get this, get that, right. get that, get that. Okay. So, once she dropped me off to the hotel. Which hotel was it? It was literally down this. Okay. Do you know the name of it? I'm not gonna lie to you. My mind is everywhere right now. Cause okay. I'm not gonna lie to you. Okay. Which I know it's on this street. Okay. This the street where Chuck is at. This is on the street where Chuck is at. Um. Well, let me ask you this question, if you can remember, where the checkers is, right? I'm looking at the checkers. And if I'm standing on the street looking at the checkers, would I go to my left or to my right to get to the hotel? Can you picture that? If I'm going to it, if I'm passing the Greyhound station, I, you'll make a right. Okay, I know what you're saying. Yeah, so you're coming up, the checkers will be on your right-hand side, you make the right, and you go down the street. It's pretty much the only hotel down over there, I think. Okay. Who's, whose room was it? Friend of mine. The name? My brother got it through his baby mama. Okay. So it's in your baby, it's your brother, it's basically kind of like almost like your sister-in-law's name? It's not. Well, I don't know how she got it. I know I just purchased it. You know? I hear you. I hear you. And I bought it for a couple days. For a couple days. Okay. And when we got back to the room, it was something, like, suspicious. Like, because I had the balcony, it got a lot. Mm -hmm. So nobody can't climb up the balcony. What floor are you on? Back. Oh, it was on the second. Second floor. Okay. So... Soon as we come back to the room with our food and stuff, like soon as my mama drop us off before I can even call her back. Yeah. My real phone doesn't even in service. I couldn't even call her back or Papa didn't even have his phone because he left it in the room. Okay. So once we got to the room, the door was literally cracked open. Okay. And I just, I was like, I don't even, I don't the, know what's going on. The balcony I don't even, door or the room door? The room door. Okay. So it was cracked open. Cracked so somebody open. didn't shut it or it was left open or something. Yeah, it was. And the, and you didn't like that. I didn't like that because I don't know if some I don't want to go to sleep and somebody just walk in sure. on me or. Sure. And then we already came in and half other stuff that we had on is already gone. So that was the key to just leave. Somebody took your stuff. Yeah. What they take? Whole lot of clothes, whole lot okay. of name brand, name brand clothes. Okay. Cause my mama know that's what I I I, I like name brand clothes. Okay. It was a whole bunch of clothes missing. Not not everything missing, but it was just certain items that costed the amount sure. were gone. Okay. Joe 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 had called me here and said you still want to go to the club? Blah blah blah. I'm like, nah, drop me off home. Drop me off home. He like, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What happened? What happened? I'm like, drop me off home. Drop me off home. Drop me off home. Is this on the phone or is this in the car? Um, this is on the phone. On the phone. So you're telling him I need to ride home, basically. Yeah. So now, it took him like, I say almost close to an hour to get to this. Okay. So... What's when he got you, down there? Did he call you on from his phone to your phone, or how did that happen? How did that phone call happen? He called, he called me off of the app messenger. Which app? I just said Facebook. Yeah. Facebook Messenger. Okay. So once he, once he had called me and told me he was downstairs, in order to get to where we at, in order to get in the building, you need a key. Key. Okay. So I had came down there, and he was already hostile, like madder than me and this ain't even your property you, like how well, you gonna be me I don't know Okay. I don't know if he think I was accusing him okay. because I wanted to go home and I didn't want to go out Right. but I just told him at first as soon as I opened the door he talking about oh my brother my brother he, he, he going to drop the three females off to I guess to the club once he said that, I was like, in my head, I, I need to get home. Everything ain't just adding up to Something's me. I just need right. to get home. Yeah. Just get home. Get home. What's Papa saying about all this? I don't know. Okay. Papa, Papa was saying that Papa was going the same thing. He was going okay. crazy. He was so like, he, he didn't going. like it either? He didn't like it, okay. but Papa's quiet. He quiet. Okay. So he's not going to say nothing. Sure. And so once we got to the light, I'm... Which light? 
I can't even lie to you. I don't even know what what light it is, but I know the closest light to to whatever that accident happened. The closest mm -hmm. light to that. Mm -hmm. That's what that happened. Okay. And it just threw my head off when he had said, he said, I carry miles on me every day. I know Joe. Okay. I done seen him put his gun up before. I seen what he put it at. I know what kind he got. I know what kind of guns he got. Where is it? What kind of gun? It was a nine. What kind of gun? Taurus. Taurus? Yes. Okay. okay. So, so, so he stops at this light and you guys are still having words and then what happens? We didn't even have words. He said, he said, he was talking to the dude in the front seat. Okay, I was gonna ask you, where were you sitting in the car? I was sitting behind dude in the back seat. So you, you're sitting behind the, the passenger or the driver? I was sitting behind the passenger. The passenger. Yeah. Okay, and then Papa's sitting behind. Papa's where? sitting behind Joe. Joe. Okay, Joe. Joe's driving, and then the other guy's in the front seat. Okay. So so then what happens? He busted you. He said once he said, "Y'all gonna make me do something to blah blah blah." In my head, all, I was like, oh, man, just just take me back to the hotel. I don't even care if you just take me back to the hotel. I am have my mama come pick me up. The whole reason why I told him to come pick me up is because literally my mama just told me she's not coming back out. Right. She's not coming back out. That's the whole purpose of him coming. Sure. We leave. We get to the street. I don't know what him and Pop were. Papa... And him was arguing. Okay, what were you doing? I was sitting back there. Were you sitting, so you're still in the car? We No, yeah, we're still in the car. We're still in the car. I'm telling how everything happened. Yeah, yeah. I'm behind him. Uh -huh. Papa behind Joe. Okay. We, we, he busted you, he pulled in the cut. I guess he did. Well, Papa stepped out, or I don't know if he snatched him out of so what, what what the plan was, but I know they was tussling when I looked at them. What did it seem like to you? You said you're not sure if he snatched them out or if he got out. What did it seem like to you? Like he stopped the car. Mm -hmm. It's a coupe, so you got to slide the, the front up to get out. So it was like he hopped out so quick, and Papa, and I know Papa, he's not finna, if you say you finna fight, he, he we're about the same size. Mm -hmm. Joe is like two he's times your size. Guy, yeah. Wow. Well, so so what happened? So what did you see? You're sitting in the back seat. What point in this car, what point in time did you get out of the car? When his friend got out of the car. His friend got out of the car. That's when I got out of the car. Okay. And he tried to do some slick I don't know what kind of he just tried to when I guess he thought I was just gonna allow them to just mm -hmm. fight. Mm -hmm. But I really wasn't I'm I'm gonna be completely honest with you. Mm -hmm. I wasn't finna shoot him, but I was finna, I was finna beat him. Like, not try to beat him, but I can't beat him, but I was gonna try to get him up off of him. Off of him? Pop. Okay. Alright, so you're trying to get Lamar Joe off of Papa. Yeah, before I could even get so to him. So, when you saw, when you saw the two of them, how was it, what did it look like? So, explain that to me. Papa and, and Joe and was muscling him, like muscling him. Did anybody get, did anybody fall to the ground? I did. You did? Yeah. Okay. That's when his friend, his friend tried to grab me. Okay. His friend tried to grab me, and I broke loose and okay. ran over there to him, to, to Joe. Okay. Then what happened? Got Joe off of him. Now, Joe hit me. Joe hit I you. fell on the ground. Where did he hit you? I don't even know. I just know I ended up on the ground, to be honest with you, sir. So you don't know, is it possible that Papa hit you? I know Papa didn't hit me. I know Papa didn't hit me. But you can't tell me where Joe hit you. No. Okay, okay. No. So so then what happens? So you get knocked to the ground. He didn't know I had his. Where did you get it from? Under the seat. You got it from under the seat? Because when he slid the seat up, it's, he keeps it under the passenger seat. So once you slide it up, everything you're going to see everything that's behind the back seat. So it's going to slide up to a extent where you can see everything. So you slide it back and you won't see nothing. Okay. But his homeboy didn't see that Papa got in from his side. Mm -hmm. We got in from the passenger side, not Joe's side. I got you. So when he slid the seat up, I don't know if he knew that it was right there, but I knew it was right there. Okay. When we got to the light, mm -hmm. that's when I took it upon myself in my safety to pick it up. It ain't. 
So you got it at that point in time. So so before you even got out of the car, you had it because you were at the light and you got it. You nine your head yes? Yeah. I want to make sure I understand you. Okay. And the reason you did that was because, tell me why. The words he said, okay. y'all going to make me do something to y'all that, that I don't want to do. Okay. In my head, that's, I don't want to know what it is. Okay. All right. And then he stopped the car. And, and so, okay. So, so you have this gun, and you see he's, he's... I'm not mistaken. His friend had a gun, too, if I'm not mistaken. Why do you say that? I don't... I just know Joe. Joe hang with people who got guns. Okay. Licensed guns. So you thought he had a gun, but you can't say for sure. I can't say for sure, but I know he had... He had a gun on He can't... I know he did. He can't sit here and tell you that he didn't have okay. no gun. All right, all right. So, so tell me, so I, we got to the point now, so you get out of the car and you have this gun. Where's the gun when you get out of the car? It was in my pocket. In your pocket? In these shorts here? Yes, because neither one of them couldn't see, well, they couldn't see me the way I did it. Cause my where's, back, your, where's your cell phone? I don't even know where neither well, of those I mean, I mean, at the point in time, you know the gun's in your pocket. Where's your cell phone at at that time? I don't even know where that's at. To be honest well, with no, you. no, I know now, I know now. But at some point in time, I mean... It, you had your cell phone with you at that time because you were talking to him on the phone and stuff, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so where was your phone at that time? It was on me. I had my phone. Where? Where? In your pocket? No, like, hold on, okay, confused now. I'm just trying to understand. Where my phone was when... Well, you had the gun in your pocket, and was your phone, like, in your hand or in your other pocket, or where, where was it? I really can't tell okay. you. Okay. I really can't say. Okay. I, I want to say it was in my pocket, okay. and it probably fell. Okay. Or I don't want to. I don't. I don't really know what happened. Okay, that's not a problem. So, so uh, again, we, so you get out of the car, you got the gun in your pocket, and then you see Joe and you see Papa, and you had. Did you get on the driver's side or the passenger side? I got on the passenger side. So, so dude, he let dude him in front had to get out first. Yes. Okay, so he gets out. He didn't get out first. Joe stopped the car. He pulled around the No, no, no. I mean, he had to get out before you got out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So so those two got out first. Yeah. And then you and, and dude, are, he's sitting in the front seat. You're in the back seat. Yeah. He gets out of the car. So you have to get I out I wasn't going to get out until he got out. Okay. And then he touched me, and I don't even know him. Right. I don't know you like that. Right, 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 right. So, so what did you do to him? I got him off of me. You got him he, off of he, me? He's small. He's okay. a skinny. Okay. He's he's not skinny skinny like me, but he's he don't got a, enough weight sure. to try to muscle me how Joe would muscle me. So so then what happens? So you get him off, and then what do you do? I ran over there to them, okay. push him off. Push you off. Joe, I tried to push him off, but that ain't work. Okay. I ended up on the ground some way somehow. Okay. Papa Papa in the car. Hey, Papa what, in the car? Where'd he go in the car? The passenger seat. Yeah, the passenger seat. Because I told him that we were going to leave. I was like, where the keys? Where the keys? Because the whole plan was we're going to tussle with them and all of a sudden the keys from the fall going to try to get in the car. So your whole plan was to take the car? No. Okay. The whole plan was we're going to get in the car yeah. and just like call my mama or somebody because he was talking real, 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 real crazy, real crazy. So, so you at what point in time did you decide to take the gun out of your pocket? If when we got him, when he hit me, mm -hmm. I swear to God, I didn't even pull it out of nothing. It was on the ground. So if I didn't pick it up off the ground and do that, mm -hmm. it went the other way around. I'd have felt like, and that's just how I see it. Okay. And he was still coming toward. The gun on the ground, Papa got him off of me. Mm -hmm. He's still going after the gun. Mm -hmm. He's coming after me. Okay. At that point, I just shot him. Where did you shoot him? I don't, I really can't say where I shot him at. Okay. You I do didn't that? want to. What did you do after that? I got his car, mm -hmm. and I drove um, to... The projects, late man projects, and I drove his car inside the lake, out of the spite of just 
Honestly, my mama could vent. I know I didn't do nothing, but I just see it all the time on TV how people just get one story and don't believe that side of the story and all this. Mm -hmm. I know for a fact how it goes down. It, it ain't. So when I, soon as I shot him, I had drove his car to the lake just by like, I didn't want nobody, like, I, didn't, I just didn't want to go. I just didn't want to go. That's it. Where's the gun? I, I left it in his car. It's in the car. Everything is in what his about, car. What about the bag? Everything is what in his in car. What was in that bag? What bag? The bag that you guys came out of the hotel with, I guess. You guys had a bag. Clothing bag. Anything else in there that we need to know about? You, sir. I just need to know. I just need to know. You can check the bag Let yourself. Where, I got a where was, true where's, religion bag. Where's the bag going to be in the car? In. You said it, it was still in the car. You left yeah. it in the car. Where, where's it going to be in the, the car? The trunk. In the trunk? Yes, because he put everything in the trunk. We put everything in the trunk. Where's the gun going to be? That's going to be in the car. Where in the car? I really can't get it. It's on the front seat. On the front seat? Floor. But I don't know if it slid. I don't know. But I know that's what I put well, it. Well, I'm just trying to understand. I'm going to make sure. Like, I'm, listen, people people panic. You know, you panic. But I just want to make sure it didn't get thrown somewhere or anything like that. It's not in your house. I don't, I'm going to make sure it's not anywhere else. Okay. I'm not even that type we, of person. Well, you know, Listen, sir, we, don't want, we, don't want somebody to, we don't want somebody to find it. You know, because if somebody finds it and then they do something with it and somebody else gets hurt, you know, we're responsible. So we need to try and find that gun. That's all. Okay. Um, I want to, I just, I'm a little confused. How, how did the gun fall out of your pocket? Or get out of your pocket? Did you take it out? No, we, he, we were tussling. When I got him off of Papa, he hit me. And I ended up on the ground. The gun came out of my pocket somewhere, somehow. Once he saw that the gun, I had the gun. That's when he started getting more aggressive, and Papa came and hit him. That didn't do nothing. That just bought me enough time to get the gun and get up. Once I got that, he just came and towards me, and then he... That was that. How close, how close was uh, was? Joe Lamar? was literally in arm distance. Arm distance, like mm -hmm. this. Mm -hmm. Like this. And I'm not going to let him grab me or get the gun, because I don't... If I let him get was the gun... Was he standing up? Yes. Yes, he was standing... He was running towards me. It's he was like, running towards you? Yeah, we were literally... This is his face, and this is my face. Literally, this is how far away we was. And he had his arm out trying to, like, grab me. Who's closer to the car at that time? Who was closer to the car? I couldn't really... I wasn't seeing that. So once you once you, once you you shot him, I mean, you, were, you got the car pretty quick, or, or what? Yeah, you should nod your head yes? Yeah. Okay, so you had the keys? Somewhere, so I don't know how the keys came up. I'm not going to lie to you. Were they still in the ignition the whole time? Mm-mm. No? Okay, but you don't know how they came up? If we talk to uh, Papa, I, is he going to say he put them in the ignition? I don't... He might say He might say he did, but I know for a fact. I don't know... How those keys were they in the ignition when you got in the car? Mm. That's what so I'm So you had to put them in. Yeah. Is it, I don't know is it, how. Is like it keyless the or is it? Do you have to put the key in and turn you it, or is it just a push button? In. You gotta put the key in. All right. So you put the key in and turned it. Okay. Now you had a gun, and you you were able to hold on to it. You got up and you had it. Um. Well, I guess let me ask you this question. At what point did any at any point in time did 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 Joe get knocked down? Did Joe fall down? No. I don't not really down down how I got down, but he don't got down like crawled down like I'm not gonna say crawl, but when Papa hit him, he stumbled a little bit, but he didn't get on the ground not once. Okay. I was the only person that got on the ground. So when you picked up the gun, what, what, at what point in time did you feel like you had to pull the trigger? 
when he started reaching to I saw his eye contact. Mm -hmm. I saw the eye contact. Mm -hmm. What do you think he would have done to you? Sir, it's self-explanatory. He looked at the gun. Once he saw the gun on the ground, that's when he, it was like a switch. Mm -hmm. It was like in his head he had to get that gun. What did he say? He wasn't really saying that much. He wasn't saying that. I can't even remember word for word what he was saying. I just know I looked him in his face and he saw that gun. And that's what he was after. I couldn't let him get that. If he would have got that, me and Papa would have probably been. And I'm definitely not going to fight with somebody like that. He done already done did it once. So I already know the second time. What you finna grab the gun and do what to me? Did what once? Like, like, saying like tussle, like, I know your strength, that, you feel me? I can't even, like, overpower you. I know how big you is. So I'm not even finna let you get another chance of trying to get up on me. So once he reached like that on me, that's when I shot. Because I knew. But I promise you. I didn't mean to. Joe, he he been my friend for years and everything, but it was just. Oh yeah. You what kind of phone do you have? I got a, I got three phones. Three I got phone? iPhone, Android. I got two. Yeah, two Androids and an iPhone. And you had all three of them with you at that time. Which one did you have with you at that time? I had my Android. Your Android. And it works? How come you didn't call 911 when he was beating up Papa? I didn't call 911? Why I didn't call 911? My phone, sir, my phone wasn't charged. I could literally show you my phone percentage right now. A screenshot or something of my phone. What percentage is it? It's dead. It's dead, sir. Yeah. It's dead. And within all that... I'm going to keep it completely honest with you. Mm -hmm. I wasn't thinking about y'all when that situation, because now one of y'all could have helped me during that second when he saw that gun. So right then and now, I had to choose. I had to choose right then and now. What made you get out of the car with the gun, I guess, is what I'm trying to understand. Before we got out the car, he said, he said him and Papa were arguing, and I heard him say something about I keep my gun in the car, and it just snapped in my head like, oh, you do keep your gun in your car. I know where you keep it at because I didn't So you got his gun? Yeah. Okay. I got it. I had it in my pocket. I had it in my pocket. I was just going to keep it in my pocket until we got all the way home, and I was just going to put it down once I made it home safely. That ain't going to so explain. He didn't want to take me to my destination, and that's they little altercation. Papa, Papa's fighting with him. Like he's, they're, he not, they're fighting it out? No, they're not fighting it out. He'll beat the shit out of if they would. He's bigger than Papa. The man is like, he's not big, but he's like, he got some weight on him. Okay. We can't, neither one of us can't fight him. Um, well, what kind of injuries does Papa have? I don't know. What kind of injuries do you have? I'm good. You don't have any injuries? I'm good. You got knocked down to the ground? Yes. You don't have any injuries, though? That, that I know of. How about your chest? I'm straight. And just so I make sure I understand, how many shots did you fire? One. One. How many shots did you hear? Two. Where'd the second shot come from? I know me. I shot once. All right, who shot the second shot? I don't know. I hopped in the car. That's when I heard it go off. So who do you think shot? It was somebody out. I want to say some. Um, it had to be his friend. I'm trying not to say that it's him, but it, it was probably somebody who who was on a porch or something. Somebody on their porch shot? I don't know. I don't know who shot. I don't want to just say he shot a gun when I 
where somebody probably could have been saying that and then probably then trying to defend them. I don't know. This is where, Willie, this is where you have to think for a minute, okay? Stop and make sure you think, okay? You don't want to say things that, that aren't true or you're not sure of, okay? But you understand. I know. I well, know. No, listen, this is what I'm saying, okay? You understand that we have evidence at the scene, right? You nod your head yes? Yes. Okay. And you understand that with that evidence, we can determine what gun shot what bullets? Yes. Okay. And I'm telling you right now that it's not going to be a neighbor down the street, okay? And it's not going to be the guy, his buddy, I'm telling you right now. Because forensics is forensics. Evidence doesn't lie. It doesn't. Okay. So now's the time we need to get everything out of the table, okay? If you were if you were working I'm telling scared, you. if you were scared, then we need to know about that second shot, okay? We need to know about it. But I it, but no, I fired one shot, sir. Well, here's the problem. I asked you before. You said you didn't give that gun to anybody else. You said you got in the car with it, okay? That's what I'm saying. I I don't know who else shot. I don't know where. It's Listen, let's get on the same page here, okay? I'll tell you who shot the second shot, sir. Sir, what I need to hear from you... I listen, really Willie, can't even Willie, freaking... Willie, listen for a second, okay? Because you're pretty sure about the first one. But what I need to hear from you is a reason why you shot the second one, okay? If there's a reason, if you did it, the first one you did, you, 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 you felt like you were defending yourself, okay? If you felt like you were defending yourself with the second one, then I need to know that. Because if I can't account for that and I can't explain your actions on the second one, that's a problem. Don't you agree? Sir. Don't you agree? Yes. That's a problem? Okay, so let's work through that problem, okay? We have to explain it, don't we? You are. Okay? Just like just like poli police, we, I'm accountable for every shot that I take. If you took two, that's fine. But we need to know why. We need to know what your thought process was for the second one. What happened on the second one? What happened, Willie? Sir, what I'm happened? not going to lie to you. Please don't. If I, I'm, I'm trying my best to mute. Help, I blacked out. I blacked out, sir. I blacked out. Once that, once I shot Joe, I ain't. Everything happened so fast. I. But you have to understand. We have to explain. I want you to think hard for a second, okay? Willie, did you hit the second guy or not? I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Is he laying over there? Do we need to go look for him? No. 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 Y'all didn't find him? The second guy. Did you did you hit him? No. With a gunshot? No. I didn't shoot him. No. Did you shoot at him? No. What matter of fact, yes. Because he was walking, he was backing up like this with something in his hand, but I really couldn't see it. Okay, so that's the second shot? Yes. Okay, so now we've got to explain. So he did what now? Tell me. The where was the street. Mm -hmm. Once he seen Joe get shot, I don't know if he was pump faking or what he was doing, but he was in the middle of the street backing up like he had something in his hand, and that was just to shoot just the back How far up. away was he from you? Like two houses down. Two houses down? Yeah. I don't know if he ran or did what, but I know he had got two houses down and he had turned his back. Once he did that, I was like, I don't know if he's finna start shooting at us, cause nobody ain't finna just start. If if you get if a person running or something, they're finna run, not with their their they face or some face towards the person. They finna run with their back towards. Mm -hmm. He was backing up like he had something in his hand, but I don't know if he really had a gun. Or I don't know if he just was acting like he had a gun. But how I see it, the, the situation, they... What did he have in his hands? I can't tell you, sir. I cannot. I couldn't see what was in his hand. I know he had sun in his hand and he was like this. What if I told you, what if I told you that we have a little bit of an issue? Okay, and what if I told you that we we don't want to make it worse, do we? 
I know the issue, sir. Mm. I know the issue. Well, there's a little bit more. Because we don't want to make it worse, do we? No. Do we? Okay. So we have to, we have to put it all out there, okay? And making it worse is what? Not telling the... The truth. Right. That makes it worse, right? Okay. So, I can tell you right now, he was running away from you, so that's an issue, don't you think? Of course, because he just saw him get shot. That's the whole purpose of so him running. running. Right. But I don't know. I don't know. That was my second time ever so seeing his face he, in my he, life. He's running away. So either he's running away or he's facing you. He's facing me, but he's running away. Here's he's the not... problem. Here's video. Okay. So the video shows him running away, clearly running away. So okay. what happened there? Show. So what happened? If you got the video, we don't got to speak no more. We don't. Okay. Because you know you saw it then. Exactly how he was faced and how he had it, sir. Well, let me make sure I understand right. I'd like to keep talking to you, but that's totally up to you. Sir. Sir. But my my problem is I saw I saw Lamar get knocked down. Clearly got knocked down. Twice. Twice. By who? He falls to the ground. By who? Papa. Clearly. Okay, and you seen, you seen, so you didn't see Joe. Listen, you don't have to get mad, okay? I'm just telling you what the video shows. You don't have to get mad at us. Why would you be mad at me for telling you what the video shows? Because. Why? That's, that's a lie. What's a lie? I know for a fact that he was finna try to kill either one of us. Who was? Joe. How? Or him. Well, let me ask you this question. Let me ask you this question, okay? Here's, well, I, I gotta make sure. Are you okay can you t to keep talking to us? Yeah. Okay. So help me understand this. If Joe wanted to kill you, right? And he had a gun under his seat, why didn't you just take the gun out and shoot you guys? Help me understand that. I don't know. You don't know. I don't know. Joe keeps his gun under so his can seat. Can we say that his intent is to kill you at that point in time? Because he, didn't, he has a lethal weapon under his seat and he doesn't take it out and shoot Sir, you guys. Sir, at that point in time, we pull up on the dark road on the dark road, okay. four people, you telling us right before we get to the dark road that you're going to do something you don't want to do. You're going to do something to us that you don't want to do. Okay. All right. You tell me what you what's going what you going to do. Well, why did Papa get out of the car? He stepped out the car and left the seat up. Okay. Now, I don't know if he pulled Papa out or Papa stepped out. Joe. Okay. And with them between that, I know they... Did Papa run away? I don't know. Well, obviously not. He's I dead. couldn't. I was in the back seat. It's a coupe. You can't really see it. So nobody made you get out of the car. His friend got out the car. I'm not finna just let him get out the car with my friend over there because y'all not finna try nothing on him. Okay. I don't. That's just what it is. Yeah. Well, I got so out the car because he got out the car. And once so I got out the car, he didn't have to touch me that one time. Yeah, and me, he touched me, and I don't even know him let me at make, all. Let me make sure I understand this right. Let me share sure something stuff right. So, this guy Joe that you've known for two years, you're cool with, but he's mad because you guys are basically accusing him of setting him of trying to set them up, set you guys up. Still is some clothes. Yeah. And I mm -hmm. never said okay. that out my mouth. So Joe pulls into this street and he gets out of the car. Before we get right. to the street. And he says some stuff. I got it. Okay. Say some stuff, blah, blah, and blah. And at some point in time, you're able to get the gun out from under the seat. And it sounds like, I right, been, it sounds I, like you were at the light. I bend it. Yeah. I bend it that before because I just peeped hot. Before when he came, okay. when he came, he came to the gate aggressive. He came to the gate aggressive more than, hyper than me, more madder than me about my stuff. So you were mad too? I, yeah, I'm mad. You were mad. He madder than me. And you thought he stole your stuff? So I'm telling, I'm like, bro, I know it ain't, ain't you just dropped me off home. That's all I so, need is so right if home. If I understand, bro. if I understand right though, you're upset, he's upset, and you're driving around, and it sounds like, is it something where you want to fight it out? I mean, is it gonna be I'm something? I'm not where that type of person that's going. I'm not, I'm not getting paid to fight. I don't get paid to fight. I'm not gonna tussle with you, and I'm not. I, I get money, so that's not no reason to me to make it back. That's why I had, I ain't even. His friend could tell you that I didn't even say that much. I snapped on his friend because his friend said my name. He said my name like he knows me. Okay. And I said, you don't know me. Keep my name out your mouth. That's all I said. Now, him and Papa kept going. Who's, who? Joe and Papa? Joe and Papa.
kept going. Okay. So that's what made him turn the car around. I'm like, bro, please take me home. 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 Mm -hmm. He he kept ignoring me. He kept entertaining Papa. So now they and they love whatever they got going on. They just made that made Joe turn the car around and go on that street. Once they got on the street, that's what I You already got the gun at that point in time. Yes, because I already know Joe. Joe was already being aggressive with a nigga. He was being aggressive. What you come... How, that's just like me. I can't say me and you, but... That's just like me being mad about something that's stolen off your wrist. Like, say your watch for instance. Mm -hmm. That's me being way more mad than your, so, your stuff. So when Joe... When when you get that gun, would you say Joe, is, at that point, is, is a deadly threat to you? At that point, you've taken his gun away before from him. I, before I even well, let's him. let's let's go yeah. piece by piece. Yeah. You've taken his gun away from him. Is he a deadly threat to you while he's driving the car? His friend is. How's that? You're sitting behind him. him. I and, don't and know him. Let's agree right now. You didn't see him with the gun at all, did you? No. Okay. So you, you have don't no, got to see the gun. You have, but you have no reason to believe that he had a gun. You've never seen him with a gun before. You barely know him. You have, <laughs> what reason do you have to believe he had a gun? He's look who's he with. Okay. So simply because he's with him, you believe he had a gun. Okay. Did he threaten you in any way? His friend? Mm -hmm. No. So no threats? No, not him. So at that point in time when you had that gun, who was your life in, in immediate danger? What did you say? When you took that gun, yeah. was your life in immediate danger? Were you in immediate danger of dying? That's when I picked the gun up when he started talking well, listen crazy. Listen what I'm saying, okay? When you took that gun, what was the threat on your life right then and there? Oh, he said, I, I keep my gun on me all the time. And that's when I clicked up and I grabbed it. Mm -hmm. so, was Joe, I so was Joe a threat to your life at that point? Huh? Yeah. How? Because well, why would you tell me? Why would you tell me? You've taken his knowing, gun away. You've taken knowing his gun away. I know where your gun is. I know where your gun is. And you took it? Yeah. Okay, so how is he a threat to you at that point, son? I'm trying to understand you. I'm just trying to understand your thoughts. He's process. bigger than me. Uh, but he's driving a car. Yeah. But once you stop the car and get out and do all that, you are already bigger than everybody in the car. What I look like, mm -hmm. and I don't know but your see, here's, intentions. here's where I get lost again. I get lost, and maybe you can help me understand this. You have the gun now, right? So you have the advantage, don't you agree? Yes. You have the advantage. You have the lethal. You have the lethal uh, force needed to stop. Okay. Now, how how bad was Joe beating up um, Papa? I don't even, I really can't say how bad he was being. I know they was tussling. There's a lot of touching going on between them two. So you could sit out of fight. But his homeboy, I don't know what he tried to do. He tried to do some slick crap. So he crap didn't do anything that, that, that He was, touched me. Right, he touched you, but he, he wasn't doing anything where you, he, you were... You were I you wasn't were even walking over the light towards them to mm -hmm. make it seem like, oh, I'm trying to jump, jump Joe. Off of so him or something like this that. Is, this he just grabbed me. This is where you need to help me out, okay? So when you get out of the car, what's the deadly threat to you? His friend just grabbed my shirt. He grabbed your shirt. Okay. How is that going to kill you? What you mean? Like, I'm trying to understand what the deadly threat is. The, the, there's there's got to be some type of imminent danger for you, okay? So he grabbed your shirt, but you were able to get away from that. Before you just kind of said it wasn't that big a deal. all okay. that. You telling me you finna do something to me, bro? Okay. He didn't say exactly what he was going to do. And you took his gun, right? His friend, as his his friend ain't gonna say it out loud, okay. or to y'all. Okay. But as his friend, what he has said, okay. and he know what exactly what he said. Joe? Yes, Joseph. He didn't say he didn't say I'm gonna kill you. He didn't say I'm gonna shoot you, did he? Did he say that? Did he say I'm gonna shoot you? He said he was gonna shoot me directly. He didn't say that? No. Okay. So he didn't threaten your life. He just said he was going to do something he didn't want to do. Yes. And in my head, that's kill. Okay. That's all that's going through my head is, like, he's going to kill me. He's going to kill us. So he gets out of the car without the gun, because you have the gun. And he's fighting with your friend, Papa. And you get out of the car. His friend get out of the car first, and I just get out just to see, cause I can't really see, cause the car's the car's small, and his I can't really see in his back seat, 
So and, I get out before and, and, I can even walk around to see what they doing. He holding me. Like, why is you touching me? I don't even know you from a can of paint. Was he trying to break up a fight? No, he wasn't even Were trying, you trying to, break to break up a fight. I didn't even get a chance to get over there. Well, I thought you said you got over there and you got knocked down at some point in time. How did you get knocked down? How did you get close enough? I guess what I'm in question is, you have this gun. You can order him to stop. Did you point the gun at him and tell him to stop? I didn't just take the gun out, sir. I just didn't do that. I did it when stuff started getting physical, sir. It sounds like... So you took it out or it fell out? Which one was it? <laughs> fell out. Fell out. But I'm saying I took it out as in mean pointing it and shooting it. Mm-hmm. Are you right-handed or left-handed? I'm left-handed. Because you just used your left hand. That's what made me ask that. Okay, so let's slow down a minute because yeah. um, I know we're going back and forth quite a bit. And the reason how I broke off because he, he grabbed my shirt and I ran over there. Once I got him off of there, boom, I ended up on the ground. Now Papa got him off of there and now he back in my face. Okay. And it just happened so quick. Okay, so what's the conversation between Joe and Papa that gets this so heated? Cause Joe, Joe has said something about he don't got to give us a ride home. And that's why, and I kept saying, I know you don't. I know you don't. You doing me a favor. You doing us a favor. But I wasn't saying it like as in, like, like as in, I'm not going to make it seem like I'm a good person or something. But I was just saying it like, just as in, just get me home. Just take me home. Anything just to get me back home. So that didn't work. They still arguing. So he said, I turn this bitch back around. What is Papa saying to him that's making him say, I'm gonna turn this bitch back around? Take a nigga home. Take I think that's what he said. Son like that. But I know it was we were arguing about why you ain't dropping us off home? Like he, for some reason, he didn't want to drop us off home. Did, did even you, if he did, you guys, him, did you guys go to from the hotel? Did, at any point, did you go to a popka? Hell no. no I'm to sorry. to let somebody's dog out or anything like that? Did that occur at all during the day? I've never been in a popka today. Okay, no you've been in a popka. Do. Have you been to Joe's house today, during the day? Not, or I at haven't night? been to Joe house period never been to Joe's house period I've been to his house but not his new house okay were you guys arguing earlier in the day when you were doing the mall and when he was at the house was no, everything copacetic no. was everything good then yes so you guys were getting along what what changed so drastically between when he dropped you off from the mall until until the hotel incident why all of a sudden is everybody so angry me and Papa was angry because we just came from the mall we bought all this stuff. Now half of it is gone. Does Does Joe have access to your hotel room? Did he have a key, or was he staying there with you? All right. Look. It was. It was two keys. I had a key. My key was in my pocket. That, but I took that out. I used that to get us in there. 